Hey everyone, and welcome to Groove Builders, the show where we create together. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone, and in this episode, we're gonna be creating some AI art together. Now, the application we're gonna be using today is Dream, and I'm not sponsored in any way by this app, but I really do like it because it's free and it's easy to follow along with at home. So go ahead and download it, and I'll just wait here. Go ahead and pause the video. Okay, now for the people that didn't need to pause the video because you already download this app, I hope you're ready to create some cool stuff. And while we wait for the other people to come back, do me a favor and just uh, go ahead and press that like button. And if you wanna create some other cool projects, uh, press subscribe too. We're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers and really could use your help. Uh, no pressure at all though. Um, oh wait, they're coming back. I think it was like this, right? Oh, great, you're back, fantastic. Now, we're gonna be creating some cool stuff, and the first thing we're gonna be doing is just a duck. That's right, just a duck. So let's bring up the computer here. There it is, and now we're gonna create a duck. Now, the first thing we need to do is just type this into the prompt section here. So we're just gonna say duck. Just one word, very simple, and then we're gonna select the style. Now, if you're not familiar with styles, what this does is it kind of provides a groundwork for the AI to work with outside of your prompts. You can also use a picture too and add something in here for it to follow, but the styles here really kind of give the AI uh, idea of what you're shooting for overall in terms of the feel and look of your photo. There are tons of styles when it comes to the Dream app, and some of them are premium. The premium ones you will need to pay for the subscription service for. I do pay for them because I play with this program quite a bit, but that being said, Said, we'll try to use some of the ones that are free here today and uh, let's use the HDR one right here. So we're going to select the HDR one. It's done in purple there. We know it's selected and uh, then we can go down to the select image. You can see my cat there. We don't need to select an image with this one because we are just trying to make a duck. So with that being said, let's create. Now, because I do have the paid version of this, you're going to see four different versions of the picture that I asked for. Also, because we really didn't give much information to the AI, it's gonna give us a wide variety of selections to choose from. As you can see already, we got some pretty cool ones here. I love the little mallard there on the far left, and this one that just actually appeared last here, this little yellow one looks cool too. Overall though, I like the white one, so we can go ahead and select that one if we like it, and then we can go over to the finalize section here, and we can name it whatever we want, we can publish it. Now, that was pretty cool and pretty simple. And something that I wanna point out is like a child, if you tell a child to draw a duck, they're gonna use images that they have seen as a child to create that duck. And that's why some controversy in the AI world has kind of spouted up because people are using images like, you know, Mickey Mouse or the Mona Lisa, and they're asking this AI program to create those things. And it looks pretty good. And that's because this is a very talented child that can pretty much paint and do whatever you want it to do. And because it has all these different images that are uploaded to it, count those as kind of experiences, it can draw from those experiences to create individual images. Even this one here, this is a completely rendered image from a bunch of other images that this AI has had access to. So the question then becomes, what is copyright and then what isn't copyright? And uh, you know, right now, this is kind of going through the whole legal system. And I find it very interesting because to me, when I look at an AI program, especially something like this, and some of the more developing AIs, like the chatbots and stuff, I think that people seem to start realizing that they need to be looked at as almost personalities or maybe even people to fully understand how the AI actually works. People are just sums of their experiences. And like these AIs, we can throw a whole bunch of experiences at them and they can create some pretty cool stuff. But now we need to make this duck look a little cooler, don't we? So let's add some more things to this. Okay, for something different, let's do a duck with some gold bling. There we go. Duck gold bling. We don't need proper English. We're just gonna use this. We're gonna stick with the same style, the HDR, and we're gonna create something kind of cool here. Let's see what we get with this. Um, now, with prompts as well, when you have pretty much infinity to work with, it can be kind of hard to come up with some good ideas. Uh, but I find that sometimes if we can just kind of smash things together, we can create something that you were never thinking it could before. And that's what I love about AI art. Now, the things we have here aren't really too great. That thing on the far left looks like a giant golden 
well, I don't know, man. I want to say it's a snake, but it's definitely not a duck. Um, maybe some golden poop. I mean, really, that's a that's an odd image. And then we got some other golden ducks in a row, uh, followed by a duck that's kind of sitting in some water. And that last one there, I don't even. Oh, it's a it's a, got some gold around its neck there. So there that I mean, I'm not really impressed with any of these images. And the reason why we're not impressed with any of these images is because we're not using the proper prompts. Yes, my guys, prompts matter. So let's go back here. Let's add something that we can really kind of go out here. So let's say a, a duck decked out in bling, ready for a Friday night out with friends, surrounded by neon lights in Japan. That's a pretty solid prompt and a detailed one at that. Now, we only need to do is just make sure that we have the HDR selected from the style to see what we kind of get from before. And we just press the good old create button. Now it's going to render that thing we all just said there. And hopefully we can get some cool stuff. Oh, yes. Yes. Now, these look a lot better. It's still not great. And that's because maybe the style we're working with. Let's maybe change some of that up. But I do like this far right duck here. And the first one looks pretty good, too. Uh, let's go back and let's select a different style using the same prompt. And we're not going to use the premium ones just yet because, again, those are paid. And if you're using the free version, I want you to be able to use the same prompts and see what you come up with. Because I'm curious to see if we get the same pictures. I don't think we're going to. Anyway, uh, let's do ultra realistic version two. And let's use the same prompt again, creating something awesome. Okay, now here we go. We got some really awesome looking ducks. I like the first one here. It has a really nice blurry background with this awesome kind of purple jacket. The second one here looks neat too. It has like almost a two duck appearance, almost like it's wearing a rubber duck as a duck. Very fashionable in my opinion. Also, the third one's doing the same thing here, but I think he's just like, man, that's a great looking duck. You know what I mean? And then the far right one here is just ready to take the town over with that amazing hat. Again, all of these are great, but let's see what happens if we use the same prompt again using the same style. Will we get the same pictures? I don't think so, but let's see what we get. Oh, wow. Okay, more close-ups than the last one. This third duck here with the whole DJ set on its neck looks pretty awesome. Also, the far right one here, the fourth one looks great too. First one looking, uh, looking ready for the town, but again, all of these don't really follow in line with what we're looking for. So now let's try a different style and let's see what we can come up with. Let's do ultra, uh, sorry, let's do realistic version two with a little cute little cat there. Let's see what happens with that using again, the same prompts. Now, I've also been told about people getting words in some of their pictures. That happens from time to time using the styles, but also if we have prompts that are kind of not being used correctly, they can, show up as anomalies in the picture. So just keep that in mind too. Now our ducks here do look a lot more, I guess, realistic, especially that fourth one there. Does it have the whole quick quack bling there with a 2800? I think that's pretty cool. I love the whole neck, uh, the whole neck style there looks neat too. All these ducks look pretty good. The first one looks a little weird. And uh, you know what? I'm going to keep that one right there because uh, that one we're going to go put on our Instagram. And that actually brings me to my next point. If you're following along at home and doing some of these prompts, I would love to see what you come up with. If you can use the hashtag Groove Builders, it makes it so much easier for me to find you on Instagram. And I love to repost all the stuff that you guys make. So definitely get to that. Now let's go ahead and publish this and we'll move on to our next step here, which is I really want to take something from a franchise that I love love like a book and see what it comes up with. And in this case, I want to use the Dark Tower series from Stephen King. It's actually one of my favorite book series, and I'm kind of interested to see how this new uh, adaptation is going to be with the whole uh, mini series coming out. I'm a little worried, but at the same time, it's a great series in the books. Now, if we go back to the internet real quickly here, we can see a quote, and that is, see the turtle of enormous girth. On his shell, he holds the earth. Now we're gonna take that prompt and we are going to grab it, copy it, and go back over to our little section here in Dream and paste it inside of our prompt. We're gonna take the dots out so that the app doesn't get confused. And now I would like to try 
the floral pattern here. I'm interested to see how this is going to impact with this prompt. Again, we're not really telling it what to make. We're just using a kind of a cutout from a book, a quote from a book. And so I'm really curious what it's gonna come up with. Let's see what it actually shows. Truth be told, I've been trying to get a good picture from this quote for a while, and I really haven't had any luck with it. I'm hoping with some more of the premium styles that have just been kind of released, we can find some cool styles in there that might be able to render something neat. But who knows? Whoa, okay, wait a minute. This is kind of cool. I like these. Uh, they're a little bit surreal in terms of how they look, but I love the detail in them. Let's take a, can we take a closer look at these real quickly? Yeah, look at that. I mean, the turtle is definitely weird. It has a, a unique shell there and it doesn't really fit what we were looking for. But again, we weren't telling it really what to do. And, and then we also have this guy here in the third one. I, I really like the look of this one. Um, I, I love the little turtle there popping out in the center. But I like that whole cutaway. That idea of a cutaway is neat. Now, one thing I want to talk about before we render another option here is that when you get a picture like that, that looks unique, you can do some editing with it within Dream. Um, we could do that in a moment, but I also want to say that if you get some inspiration from a picture, try using some of the prompts that you can see from the detail of that one in the next one and see if that can alter or make your picture that much better. In this case here, I want to try to keep it the same. I'm going to cheat a little bit here and I want to see if I can use the VFX version 2. Let's see what this one can come up with. I think it's a unique style and one that I've actually used on my Instagram as well. Oh wow, these look great. I love the whole adventure style and I love how this one has like an almost underwater appeal, but they're not underwater because of the fact that the humans there breathing air. Again, I love the surreal look of this and the turtle doesn't look half bad in that one. And the next one kind of follows a similar style. It seems like all of these kind of have that unique uh, people are looking up and kind of gazing into this turtle. Um, yeah, each one of these actually, it does have a person associated with them. Some of the turtles look a little wonkier than others. And I really, this one here, is it coming out of an egg? The back of it is an earth. That's kind of cool. I wish the orientation of this was a little bit different. Let's see if we can actually edit this and create something a little bit different. Now, I do think the editing feature here is a premium feature. So if you don't have access to this right now, I do apologize, but I do want to see if we can do something with this. Um, before we go into editing this, we can also create variations. So if we got something that we kind of like, something like right now, we have this whole back thing here with the earth on it. The first one has something similar to that too, but I like this one a little bit better. Um, we can actually regenerate this image again to create other ones to see if we can get some of the anomalies either removed or possibly add some other ones to it. So in this case here, we're going to create some variations. I can't speak today. It's been a long week. Let's see what we get. Okay. Again, you can see how it used the image and also changed some things around to see if it's what we actually want. Now the first image is the original one. That's what it says there at the top. And then we get our variations. Um, we can take a closer look. Here's the original one. Unfortunately, we can't just swipe to the right to see the other ones. I wish they would put that in there. We do have to go back. We can see how it took that earth and actually changed it a little bit in each one. This one actually having a whole globe represented on it. Kind of cool. Uh, but again, I still like the first one. So it didn't really do what we wanted to do in that regeneration. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to try to edit this with some text. So let's do this. Let's say um, the turtle has the world on its back. Okay, so with that correction, it's now going to take that photo and those prompts that we just gave it to create something new. What will it do? Will it be a little bit better? It might be better. Um, I'm not really seeing too much of an improvement on this. And that might just be because we really didn't add a proper description of what we wanted to change. I just said the turtle has the earth on its back. So seeing that, I mean, all of these pictures do have the turtle with the earth somewhat on its back, but it still kind of cuts away that third turtle that actually has the thing on the back. So it's not really what we want. And that kind of comes back to what I wanted to talk about when it comes to making the right prompts. 
that really does matter when it comes to making these images. It's not just as easy as just asking for something. You really do need to use a lot of words to describe what you want in order to be able to get a really awesome picture. So let's do something really awesome for our last one here. And that way that we kind of made three pictures. Um, I didn't really dig the turtle pictures, unfortunately, but that doesn't mean that we're going to stop. I'm gonna keep playing with that one and maybe I can come up with some really neat ideas. Okay, for our next photo, let's do an American bulldog highly decked out in royal jewelry, surrounded by subjects bowing with gilded gold palaces and diamond starlight in the background. I think that's a pretty good prompt if you ask me. And now that we have that, we can then play with the styles again. So we've kind of played with a couple of these ones here. Um, let's see, like I said, there's a lot of styles here for us to be able to choose from. You know what? Let's do the realistic version so we can get a really awesome picture of an American Bulldog here. Let's create this and see what we get. Ah, yes. Look at these. Amazing. They did a pretty good job here with this American Bulldog. Our first one. Look at the eyes on this guy. He looks amazing. And then we also get this here. I mean, the black one here. Oh, not, not too bad. Not too bad. I like the crown. I think the jewelry was really done best, though, on this guy right here. And that just shows you the more information we give the prompter, the more cool stuff we get to create with the AI art. And I've said that a few times in this video, and it's because it's so true. I love this one. This will be the one that we're gonna put up on there for our, for our second picture. I said the third one earlier. This one, I'm just gonna keep it published. I love it. Yes, the chains are broken. The last thing I wanna do though, the last picture that I really do wanna do is something that's a little bit scary. My favorite pictures from AI art so far has been monsters. And I actually created an entire story on my page around AI images. It's about a library and some pretty spooky stuff. And unfortunately, I think we all spend some time there from time to time. Uh, but that being said, let's get back to this. Let's do a personality monster surrounded by neon flames, sucking the soul out of a small person sitting on a bench in New York City with a neon light shining on their face before the monster eats them. Ooh, I like that one. That was a pretty good little prompt. And you can also use things like in the style of or painting of or these kind of descriptive words to kind of get a better looking image to what you're thinking of in your mind. Now with this one, let's try the realistic one again, but we'll also try another style if we don't like what we get here. Okay, it really emphasized on the neon prompt with this one, you can tell. And uh, these like neon monsters are neat. I find it interesting that it actually chooses to render children. I wouldn't think that it would do that. Um, but again, uh, your this is image is fed a whole bunch of stuff and it kind of takes what you give it and makes something neat. So I really think this one here is kind of cool. This. Uh, whole like neon soul sucking monster here is neat it almost looks like he's going to a rave of some kind i love it and uh same with these other ones here they, they look kind of cool too but not necessarily what i want you know let's change the prompt a little bit and see if we can get something a little better here now it took that neon light aspect and really took those monsters didn't it so let's see if it will do something a little bit different this time i'll keep it on the realistic images and then we'll shoot over to something a little different and see what we get so let's take a look at this here okay these look a lot better and uh the one here on the far right and the one here on the second let's take a look at all these together this one looks kind of neat it's not what we're looking for but i do like this photo it almost like a picture of somebody on a bench again like a hyper stylized picture i love that this one here the face is a little bit messed up and that's the only thing i find with dream um, if you're trying to create an image sometimes the faces can be really messed up so you have to be very clear about clear face if you say that as a prompt it will usually fix some of this stuff up but if you don't it will give you some weird anomalies uh, for sure now let's take a look at this one here not bad i like it i like how he's playing like a little psp there kind of cool and then finally this one here kind of what we're looking for but not really i think the style is what needs to change so let's try a different style and uh let's give this one here 
you know, we've done a whole bunch of freestyles. Let's do a premium one and see the difference between a premium style and one that's offered for free. So let's look at this Vector V2 one. Maybe this will kind of give us, this is actually one I haven't played with at all. So I'm kind of curious to see how these will look. Wow, um, I really like this one. That's cool. Um, it's not, again, it's not really what we wanted. We wanted to have a neon light shining on their face. Instead, what we get is a neon monster. I wonder what would happen if we took the promptus out that had the neon in it. I wonder how different these pictures would actually look. So let's say a personality monster sucking the soul out of a man sitting on a bench in New York City with a neon light shining on their face before the monster eats them. Let's try that with the Vector 2 image and see how much of a different look we get because I guarantee that that whole neon thing is going to be almost completely gone. Well, I mean, it kind of is almost gone, but the image I really like here is this first one. This looks neat. I love it. It looks great. It's similar to what I kind of wanted, but not really. We don't get that shining neon light, even though they kind of tried there. We also get that kind of re weird wording that everyone was talking about. So I like this one. Let's see if we can take this one. We're going to download it, and uh, that way it saves to our image here. And we're also going to select it, and we're going to create... Uh, variations of it to see if we can get something a little bit better. I really do like the look of that though. It has a really awesome look to it. Yes. All right. All right. This is good. I like this. And this one here isn't too bad. Oh man, we're so close though. I think that we just need to do a little bit different. A personality monster sucking the soul. Okay, let's take out the last little bit here because sometimes again, you having too many props can be an issue. Um, so let's do this shining on his face part. We'll take out that last little bit. We'll keep the same one here. And then I'm going to go to HDR version two and I'll show you what that looks like and we'll call it a day. Okay. Now taking some of that stuff away, we do see some better results. I love these. These look great. I love the second one here. This is kind of a really cool image, isn't it? I love that whole like background of this like kind of almost demigods in the background looking at these two uh, peoples on a bench. I, I really like that image and I also like this far right one here but it was a little bit different but I like that second one a lot. This uh this sorry the third one a lot. The second one here though is really neat. I like that background. Um, if the character with no leg uh, was a little bit different and the other one saying there was a little bit different it might look a little bit better um i'm gonna go ahead and take this one though and we're gonna create variations and see what we get from that because i think this one looks really neat too and um, it's always a neat idea to take something that you like and see what other things can be done with it all right so basically it looks like it took the couple and did a couple of things with them also the city changed a little bit i still think that our original image looks the best i mean here's the second image for reference Here's the third image, if you want to take a closer look at that. And the fourth image, again, my favorite one here is definitely the first one. So I'm going to say this guy right here is the one we're going to take. And I'm going to finalize that. And I'm going to say publish as well, so we can share that with you guys online a little bit later. Now, I'm going to use that same prompt. If we go to prompt history here, we can do that. And let's go to the HDR uh, V2 here. Again, that's a premium one, but I'm really interested to see what this is going to come up with because I've had some really good results with this particular style. Let's take a quick little look together. Okay. Now, what I was kind of thinking about before uh, was this uh, second one here. Although the neon being on the people is still not what we're going for, but I, I do like the look of it. The first one isn't bad, uh, although the face looks a little bit weird. Same with the uh, third one. I don't know what that is. It actually almost reminds me of Monsters, Inc. a little bit. And then the fourth one here. You know, I actually really like this. This is a cool one. Again, not the prompt that we were looking for, but sometimes we get some happy accidents. And my friends, happy accidents are sometimes the best accidents. Let's finalize this. And with that, my friends, we're done with today's episode. I had a really good time making some AI art with you. And if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well as we got all kinds of cool stuff coming out and I would love to have you there in the future. Until next time, keep building. And don't forget to post these things on Instagram and use the hashtag GrooveBuilders. I wanna see your stuff.